Hello and welcome to another Goliath guitar tutorial. Today we are learning the song Frosty the Snowman. This is a um, day five of my 12 Days of Christmas special. And um, if you want to go and check out my medley, that I, this is part of a Christmas medley lit, um, song or interpretation that I put together. If you want to go check out my full Christmas medley, click on the link that's on your screen now if you've got any annotations on or link in the description for those of you without annotations. And if you want to go check out the Christmas, 12 Days of Christmas playlist, which will include all of the Christmas videos that I've made this year for the 12 Days of Christmas special, you can click on the link on your screen now if your annotations are on, or again, down in the description of this video, you'll find the link that you're looking for. If you want to get hold of the tabs for this Frosty the Snowman, you can um, download the tabs for the whole of the medley, by clicking the link on the screen now, or link in the top of the description, will take you to my website where you can download the tabs 100% free, as is everything else at my website. So enjoy. So before I get started, I do want to mention the guitar strings that I'm using today. I use Elixir guitar strings. These are my number one choice in guitar strings for the reason being that they feel absolutely amazing, silky smooth to play. The tone in them are fantastic and they do last for absolutely ages, which is why it brings me great pleasure to bring you these guitar lessons in association with Elixir Strings. Okay, so let's get started with this lesson then. If you got the tabs in front of you, we're looking at bars 83 and onwards, the section that says Frosty the Snowman. Like I said, this is part of the medley, so on that tab sheet, it's like the fourth song down. So Frosty the Snowman, we're looking at eight, bar 83. That's the first four bars, 83 through 86, and... Okay, 83 kind of goes like that. So what we're doing, we've got the third fret with our middle finger on the sixth string, third fret with the ring finger on the second string. Okay, like this. So you play six and two together, okay, followed by four and three, okay, and then lift off that second string and play the second string open with the sixth string, followed by four and then three, sorry, four and then two, okay, and then two this time is fretted on the first fret. That's how it goes, bar 83. Bar 84 now. Goes like that. So, what you do is you come to the third fret again on the second string, as well as the third fret on the first string, leaving that third fret on the sixth string now. So you've got your little finger, first string, ring finger, second string and you've got the middle finger over that here on the third fret of the six. So the sequence here. Like that, so we play a pinch on six and two, pinch on four and one. Okay, followed by six, three. Okay. And then you come to the second fret of the first string. You play that with the open fourth. Sorry. And then you go up to the third fret on the first string afterwards. Okay, so that's the end of bar 84 with the beginning. That's the whole of bar E4 together. And if we go back 83 and 84, what we have so far should play like this.
Okay, so that's the first two bars done. We're moving on now, bar 85 and 86. If you're looking at the tabs. Okay, so it's. Like that. So begin, 85. So to begin, 5th fret on the 1st string, 3rd fret on the 5th string. Then open 3rd string with the 3rd fret on the 1st string. Okay. And then to here, you switch these fingers now from here. You bring the middle finger to the 3rd fret on the 5th string and bring the index finger to the 2nd fret on the 1st. Whereas before we were using the index finger for the 5th string. You've got to switch the index finger with the middle finger to play the next bit, which is a pinch on five and two, sorry, five and one. One being fretted on the second fret, but then you pull that off to open. Sorry. To finish off, you've got open third and third fret on the second, which comes with the little. Sorry, your ring finger in here. Well, that's bar 85 done, on to 86. That sequence there. So back over to the third fret on the sixth string, you've got the sequence six, four, three, and then six, three, two, and then three, uh, second fret and then third fret on the first string. Okay. So all in all, bar eight six. Okay. So bar eight five and eight six together plays. Got that. And if you go back, 83 through 86 plays like this. Okay, and once you got that, moving on, bar 87 through 90 plays like this. So let's start at 87 then. Okay, that is a repeat of bar number 85, which we did before. Okay, so once you've got that. 88 now. Okay. It's that second. So, 3rd fret on the 1st and 6th string to begin with, it's 6, 1, 4, 2, both open. Okay, after that, you've got, you come to this shape, 3rd fret on the 2nd string, 2nd fret on the 4th string. Play open six, you play the third string, and then pinch into two and four, and then one. Six, four, sorry, six, three, two, four, and then one. Okay? So with the beginning of 88, you've got. the whole bar 88 and with 87 together we've got okay moving on 89 and 90 okay firstly bar 89 
to start there. So we've got like basically it's an A minor position. First fret on the second string. The second fret on the third, although you don't really need the third, I only put it there just in case I hit the wrong string. And the second fret on the fourth string. Okay? Okay? And what we're doing here is we're interchanging the third fret on the second string with the little finger here. And obviously lift, lifting off the second string as well. So it's, there's that uh, movement in there. So we start off pinch with the third fret on the second string and the open fifth. Okay, down to the first fret on the second string with the fourth string. Open second string with the fifth string. Back up to the first fret on the second string, play on its own. Okay. Finish off with a thumb on the fourth string. And then bring the index finger up to the third fret on the second string to finish off. Okay, next bar 90. Um, from here, which is the third fret on the second string with the index finger, you come into this D7 shape. 5th fret on the 5th string, 4th fret on the 4th string, 3rd fret, sorry, 5th fret on the 3rd string, yeah, so, with that 3rd fret on the 2nd string as it was, okay? And all we do for bar 90 is strum down, up, and then up, and then down. I'm strumming here using the nails on my fingers, so I'm using the thumbnail, strumming up with my thumb, and then strumming down with my index finger nail. Like that, so it's down, up, up, down. So all in all, bar 89 and 90 plays. Okay, that's how that goes. If you back up bar 87 through 90, plays like this. Okay, so that's um, 87 through 90. Moving on now, 91 through 94 plays. Okay, which is a repeat of the first four bars. So I don't really need to explain to you um, how to play that. It's exactly the same as the first four bars. After that, 85 through 88, It's slightly different now. The first two bars are pretty much the same. So you've got, um, obviously, 85 and 86 are the same as 87 and 88. Okay, now 97. Goes. So again, we start off in this like A minor, a minor position where we're moving this um, second string around the place. You've got the first two pinches are the same. So third fret on the second string, open fifth. First fret on the second string, and then the fourth string on the second fret. This time, open two, open four, followed by second fret on the three. Followed by open four, open three. Like that. Okay, and whole of 97. Like that. So that's the whole of 97. 98 now to the third fret on the sixth string you play. is bar 80, 98, sorry, so it's sixth string and then strum down four, three, and two. And then sixth string again straight after. And then 
you come open third, third fret and second, and then open first. Like that. Okay, so that's how 98 goes. So 97 and 88 together, sorry, 97 and 98 together. Back all the way up to 95 through 98, we've got this. Okay, we'll move on now to the last three bars of this song. We're looking at bars 99 through 101. We've got... Something like that. So 99 is a repeat of 97, where we go. Okay. Okay, we've already done that, so I'm not going to describe that in too much detail. Bar 100. It's the same kind of as 98, but um, to this G shape again. Thumb on six and then strum down. Thumb on six straight after. And to finish off, you've got an up strum, down strum, up strum, all on strings three, two, and one. Sorry, four, three, and two. Okay. So that's bar 100 and 101. Okay, is that. You come to this D7 shape again, 3rd fret on the 2nd, 4th, sorry, 5th fret on the 3rd, 4th fret on the 4th, 5th fret on the 5th, like we did earlier. Okay, and what we're doing here, we miss a down stroke, and then we play up strum, down strum, up strum, down strum, up, down, and then up. So we've got, so we've got three pairs of up and downs. off with an up. Okay? So it's like that. So bars 99 through 101 plays like this. Okay, and that completes the lesson for this version of Frosty the Snowman. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you did, click the thumbs up button because it really does help us bring you these free guitar lessons um, and free tabs. Um, like I said before, if you want the tabs, you can click the link in the top of the description of this video. Get the tabs for the whole medley. Learn lots of Christmas songs together and everybody um, will, will love it. Um, and that is it for this lesson. If you want to go to the Todd Days of Christmas playlist, there'll be a link again uh, in the description of this video and you can learn every single one of these um, Christmas songs in this medley and the rest which comes um, in the final six days of Christmas which I haven't re released yet um, unless you're watching this after the fact but anyway that's it for now if you haven't checked out already my gaming channel there'll be a link on the screen now I'm having a lot of fun making gaming videos over on that channel and um, I hope you if you enjoy gaming why not check it out and until then, until next time, guys, I'll see you again in the next episode. Bye for now.